This is the Blockade Pimple Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me from halfway across the world is Jared Morgan. Hey there, everyone. Long time no see. You might say that. We, uh, you might hear it in my throat still, folks. Uh, and somebody commented on my video that I posted about uh, Attack from Mars, um, where they went, wait, is that Chris? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I've got That's the frog. Husky Chris. I've got the frog in the throat. We were going to record, uh, was it last week that we were thinking of doing it? It was, I was or maybe the week Chad before. History. We, we, May 7th was when we were talking about doing an episode, but you had to work. And I had to work, I and that's said, when oh, my, and then, with me. so that's when I had to work, and literally the next day I lost my voice. <laughs> yeah. And I've had this yeah, so, bad voice for like two weeks now. So there's no way, there's no way we could have done any sort of good recording at all. No, because uh, I was coughing and... like a fiend during that time too. Oh. Yeah, I know that. I know how that is. Yeah, yeah it's that's no lovely. So yeah, here we are. So we've, hopefully we've managed to find a time. Yeah. So uh, quick update on a couple of things here. Um, mm. One, I've talked about the the fact that I need new boards for Eight Ball Deluxe. Yep. Um, not having planned on purchasing those knowing that all four boards are going to cost me just about $500. That mm -hmm. severely cuts into my video card money <laughs> that I was hoping yeah, to buy. because video cards still are very expensive. Yep. Uh, uh, the one I want is, mm -hmm. I believe, 550 or $600. Um, yeah, that's... So, where yeah. the... <laughs> it's, it's maybe go... Okay, what do I need to do first? What do I need to do first? What is the priority? Right. What it, What do I need? What are the needs? And so that like. put me in a in a uh, a bit of a holding pattern, except for the fact that I have this item here that I'm trying to sell. This would be a 100 to 400 Ooh. millimeter lens. And That's fancy. These are rather expensive, and this belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, and when I say belongs, it's he got it from his brother who just passed away. <laughs> oh, right. And he doesn't know what to do with it, probably. doesn't know what to do with it because he doesn't have the uh, the proper camera to mount it on, um, nor does he shoot mm. that kind of photography, for that matter, nor do I. Um, mm. So, but what he said was, we can spl split the money for what you get for it and okay. apply that to a video card. Well, these things... On Amazon, go for like twelve hundred bucks. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So uh, now that's newish. This is the Mark One so, version. There's a Mark Two version. So this is a few years old too. And it's secondhand. So what's the rule? Like it's thirty three percent, isn't it? When you're selling secondhand, something like that. So I yeah. posted it to Facebook Marketplace for like nine twenty five. Figuring people will negotiate. Maybe I get down to eight fifty. Um, and I've been getting, because graduation season, um, mm. people want long lenses for those. So oh, I've right. been getting notifications of people asking if it's available, but that's where it stops. <laughs> I just had somebody... That's all you get on Marketplace. Is right? this available? Is right. this available? And they just walk away. Yeah. yeah. It's like... Um, but, <laughs> what are they doing? But as my friend said, he didn't want to post it on eBay because eBay will take a giant cut of what you sell it for. Do they still do... I thought they didn't do that for personal sales, but anyhow, maybe... Well, the other thing is, I really don't want to have to ship this thing. What I mean, about Craigslist? I mean, I could. I haven't gone there yet. I might. Mm. Um, I would say Gumtree, but it's your Craigslist, really, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Because Gumtree is what we use um, over here. But so, I, I had one person message me and go, well, would you do 750 Because that's what I can get it from on this online website. And I'm like... Mm. That's an online website. I'm not shipping it to you either. You know, it's a local pickup, and so I was just like, I lowered the price to, like I said, eight fifty. And like, how about that? Didn't hear back. Get another person responds saying six hundred. I'm like, no, I'm not going that low. And then they go, well, would you rent it? I'm like, no, I'm not going to rent it. <laughs> what? I'm like, unless you plan on giving me a thousand dollars cash as a deposit. Hmm. <laughs> No. No? I'm like, what do I look I, like? Right? 
So anyway, <laughs> people, this is the thing. I like, I love, I love getting rid of clutter in the house. And I yep. love selling stuff. But geez, dealing with people, it's <laughs> just the worst. It's the worst, man. It really is. So, like I said, I'm, I'm. If I can get rid of that, then I'm back into the ballpark of what I wanted to do. But I'm like, yeah, I'm just kind of in that holding pattern at the moment. <laughs> Makes you wonder, is there anything else lying around the house that you could um, get rid of, you know? Because one of the, I, I read this article today about, you know, the, the 12 things you can do to make what $26,000, Aussie $26,000. Mm. And one of those things was just have a look around your house and see the stuff that you've been holding on to. And sell it because there's there's statistics out there that say that um, the average household is holding on to around I think they said 16 things they don't need. So you know it's an easy way to make cash. Yeah. So. But you got to go with the, know. you know it's that whole garage sale thing, <laughs> which we've had throughout the well, years yeah. um, as we were ditching child toys and stuff like that and. I've sold collectible items before um, that I've had, you know, lying around. So uh, I just say list everything on marketplace and have a virtual one, and say no shipping, come get it. And then, of course, you know that's your full time job for the next month, uh, fielding off answers from everyone. You know, which I also and that's the reason why with. people don't do it because it's a cruel and unusual punishment. Yep. Right. Yep. Well, and there's also uh, there's a certain point where people lowball me, and I just go, you know what? I'd rather hold on to it, in spite. Of what you're offering, I'd mm. I'd sooner throw it in the trash and not let you get it for that cheap. Um, listed for, so it's listed for eight hundred. They are uh, they lowball six hundred cent and they mm. want delivery. Sure, delivery is two hundred bucks. <laughs> 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 so I usually do that too. Like, okay, yeah, if you want to deliver, it's two hundred bucks for you. Yeah. Uh, so and anyway, quickly go away. That's uh, that's where I'm at on the uh, on the boards. Um, It'll happen. So, if you had to choose one or the other, what would you spend your money on? Well, I'm leaning on the boards more heavily um, mm. for a very good reason. We'll get into that in just a moment. Um, okay. But okay. I'm leaning more on the boards. Uh, but the thing is, is that if I get the boards, well, that means a ball deluxe can go LED, and then I'm going to want to buy LED lights. And if I yeah. buy them for that, I'm going to buy them also for. Um, Target Alpha, and we're probably going to be at about a hundred bucks worth of LED lights uh, when all is said and done, if not more. Unless you're replacing with those nice little circuit board mounted um, strips. Yeah, which I'm not is doing what that. I would do if I could again. <laughs> I, I, I like I said the I know what you're talking about. The strips. Mm. I, I don't have any of the lights Yops that tools, are. They called. Yeah, my lights aren't no. that difficult. Um, I'm not dealing with that right. big old chain of them all, and they're kind of locked Horrible. in place. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with that. Mm. Um, so I don't have that issue. Um, That's good. But like I said, and, and I want to change the rubber on uh, eight ball. And we talked about the Mylar. <laughs> I don't know. Did we talk about the like... Mylar on the show? Did we talk about the Mylar on the show? Yeah. I'm... I don't think we talked about it on the show, but we certainly did. I saw it on the video. That's right. I did mention it in the video. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're it, it's going to happen. It's just, hey, this has been mucking me up, and uh, we've got some other things that we got to take care of around the house. So that's just going to kind of put on the back mm -hmm. burner because I'm like, let me take care of the stuff that's important first to make sure I don't need <laughs> extra mm. funds. You know, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But here's... I mean, honestly... Life, life admin will trump any sort of discretional purchase, like right? pinball stuff or video card stuff or whatever. Like you know, uh, as much as you like it not to, unless yeah. you have a uh, <laughs> a sudden death in the family that gives you money. You know, right. money doesn't grow on trees no. except for that circumstance, which is not the one you want. Anyway. Well, and I got news you for know. you too. Any money that suddenly comes into the house, my wife has it uh, spent. Um, she, <laughs> well, and and I'm not saying that in a bad way either. Uh, it's like she handles our finances. She, fan she handles our finances amazingly, um, mm. but she's got earmarked projects <laughs> that if if those kinds of sums ever came into place, immediately it's like, well, now we're doing that. So um, yeah, we're replacing this aging piece of equipment. We're replacing that. We're doing this. 
you know yeah and honestly that's how it should be right yeah we we, we both know as much as we would like to spend it on nice things that that is where the money needs to go it's always on the house you know sometimes yeah sometimes having a house that doesn't have leaky roofs is a good thing <laughs> uh, that, yeah that's kind of nice i've heard <laughs> yeah all right so yeah. here's the reason why the video card can wait a little bit mm -hmm. obviously i'm enjoying the heck out of playing on the ad games legends 4k machine right uh, to the point that I really hate playing in landscape mode on the PC right now. Um, and I went wow. back to rotating okay. my monitor. I, I just don't. No. <laughs> you, you never fire up the game. I don't fire up the game yeah. because I'm... And I can rotate my monitor. And I, I did that the other day um, uh, just to try out some of these new things. Uh, but when I tried it in landscape, at first I was like, why can't I read anything? And, oh, these angles. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've gotten used to seeing something in full cabinet. Um mm -hmm. They just released, jeez, uh, okay. We've got a ton of games to talk about. Some of these we're going to talk about in terms of the Steam version of uh, Pinball FX. But for right mm -hmm. now, I'm talking about what's been released on the Alp 4K. Uh, they released all three of the Zen Original Trek packs, or Trek tables. They released Attack from Mars. They released Star Trek Next Generation. They released Twilight Zone. And they're about to release the Kong three pack. That's a lot of content. That's a lot of content. All, all, all of a sudden on a, on a new platform. Yes. Like that. That's a lot. Um, the lag issue has been getting better uh, to the point that Attack from Mars is very playable. I'm number three mm. right now on the leaderboard. Um, right. and, and that's without having conquered Mars. <laughs> if I could just freaking oh, conquer well. Mars, I'll blow that score out of the water and have number one by a country Yeah, mile. with an instant billion. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, Trek and Twilight Zone are interesting because they are wide bodies. And I was very curious to see what was going to happen considering what happened with Farsight and Black Hole where they just yeah. narrowed the entire thing. No, Zen did the proper thing. They scaled out a little bit. But what has happened... Yeah. Because of that, things are a little bit smaller. And because they've also decreased graphical fidelity in order to make the lag less significant, on a table mm. like Trek that has all those circles and spirals and the ramps, or I mean in the... Uh, oh, the that's aliasing trails, everywhere. Oh, it's big time alias. Yeah, yeah. Jaggy City. Trek does not look yep. good. <clears throat> Twilight Zone looks pretty good. Um, yeah, because it's only got that one cross cross play field rail on it. The rest yeah. is all just flat. Surfaces. The text is a little bit hard to read. I mean, because it's it's thin now because again it's scaled yeah. down. Plus, it doesn't have the graphical fidelity, so some of the text looks like it's uh, like poorly written in, <laughs> like yes. there's, there's pixeling missing kind of things. And yeah. looks like someone's put it in with a sharpie sort of thing. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and like you can't read the apron card. Hardly at all. Um, uh, clearly, these are not 4K. That's yeah. And we all knew that this was not going to be a 4K thing. But no. it's made it so these are very playable. Trek, you got to be able to play it. It's a fast table. Twilight mm -hmm. Zone is a the tough frame table. Rates are king. Yeah, it's got to be the frame yeah. rates. That's what's king. It's got to be a constant 60. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to lose track of the ball. And I have every confidence that. Make these playable so that people aren't complaining about the lag so much. I mean, people are going to complain about the lag no matter what. But of course they are. I'm finding these very playable. And then once you get your optimization figured out, you can start ramping back up the graphical fidelity. Um, yeah. Because Adam's family looks pretty damn good especially in comparison to all these other tables. It looks really good, right. but Adams has the worst lag of them all. Right. So so they need to optimize. So they need to work out what lever they're going to pull. They need to go, you know, are we going to pull it towards the frame rate or are we going to push it towards the graphics? And I think really at the moment, here's the middle. It needs to be more towards the frame rate. Yes. I think. Yes. Until... That's what people see. Until Zen hires their Unreal Engineer, which they have... I don't know if they've 
completed that uh, hiring or not, it was up on their uh, website as uh, mm. looking to hire because um, they're definitely looking for somebody that can optimize Unreal Engine. And if they can optimize yeah. it, then Bob's your uncle. It goes all the way down. Because um, there's plenty of people yeah, even it's playing a really on, important hire. Yeah, even playing on Steam, there's people that are complaining about graphical fidelity uh, because of pinball effects. Is it's a beast. It takes it's, a lot of resources compared to FX3. Yeah, it's it's unreal all the way down. Yeah, all the way down the stack. Yeah, it, that's the the problem with it. it and people have identified that. <clears throat> like even there's some other AAA titles that suffer from very similar things. I don't quote me what they are because I can't recall, but I do re remember a thread in Discord saying that even top tier games have problems with the things that people are complaining about the most in the game. Yeah, it's actually an engine issue. Yeah, um, uh, it's not anything that Farsight that Zen is doing. So, what I did learn that I didn't know previously was that Magic Pixel and their titles that are on uh, the Alp 4K, they run on Linux. Mm. And Linux, yeah. And or Linux, so, I don't know what. How do, you, how do you pronounce it? Is it Linux or Linux? Linux. 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 Um, so hang on, they're all their games on. Is that on the chip? Yeah. Is that on the the the, the actual uh, system on the chip that they've got in the game? Yes. It's actually, they're running a Linux build. Yes. Like? Which apparently that talks one? much nicer to the Android chip, the 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 Rock chip. Um, that's what somebody, and I'll put it to you this way. The difference in file size, the file size for any of the, um, magic pixel stuff is like, call it like three megabytes small right? compared yeah. to, and I, I, I take that back. It might be like 300 megabytes. I can't remember what the number is, but the Zen stuff is like, three gigabytes i mean it, 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 it's huge in comparison um mm. so i think that'll just be because magic pixel are not using unreal correct they're using i think it's you know i don't know actually i don't either i'd like to say it might be unity but it doesn't say unity so it's probably no. not i think it's their, their own thing actually Whatever uh, it is. If you know what it is in the comments, let me know. But I'm it's interested. much more bespoke to the Alp 4K and the chip that they're using. Um, mm. the, the real solution is a better chip <laughs> being used. They're gonna, look, I think At Games is going to have to acknowledge the problem for what it is. And it's that system on a chip is the bottleneck. Well... Um, not only that, but here's another interesting thing, and this is where uh, uh, back to why I can wait on the video card. Mm. There was just an announcement with Zen and At Games. Zen plans on releasing 45 new packs for the Alp system. <laughs> 45? 45 so everything? new packs. Let me just go through what the first 14 packs are that have been announced are we have Sorcerer's Lair we have Wild West Rampage Fish Tales World Cup Soccer 94 we have a three pack of the Universal Classics so that's E.T. Back to the Future and Jaws you have the Jurassic World three pack you have the Universal Monsters so Monster Bash and Creature you have the DreamWorks three pack you've got Chucky yay hear it for Pinball M The Thing Pinball M uh, the Universal Ooh. TV pack, which is a three pack, the Gearbox three pack, Garfield, My Little Pony. So that's wow. twenty five tables. That's Seventeen. That's that's <laughs> jeez. That so that's fourteen packs with twenty five tables. Right. Wow. So I started going through, going, well, what are the other packs going to be? I'm eliminating mm. Star Wars. I'm eliminating Marvel. Those, okay. I believe, are going to get their own deal. Um, you reckon? I think a lot of licensing has to take place with those again. Um, mm. It might probably their license is probably not lapsed, but 
like putting them onto new pla- the, like they can still sell them, but their ability to put them onto new platforms, new platforms, expired, right? And who knows if it's mm-hmm. an issue with waiting to finally clear out completely from uh, Arcade One Up. Oh, I yeah, don't know if that's a situation, but it might be. Mm. We need to, you know, properly get out from underneath there. Um, yeah, it's possible. But so I went through the rest of the titles. And I can literally squeeze every single other title that's in Pinball FX into the remaining, uh, uh, well, packs. There's 14, 45, so the remaining 31 packs. Um, so, so literally everything that's in the game at the moment is coming over. Because, like, the, you'd have the, the game night board. pack. There's three tables. Pack Rim would yeah, be its right. own table. World War Z would be its own table. Charlie Brown Christmas would be its own table. Um, South mm-hmm. Park would be a two pack. Uh, Noir, Curse of the Mummy, and Sky Pirates would be the three pack. Uh, yes. Zeus and Adventureland, two pack. Samurai, Vern's mm-hmm. Adventure, and Wrath, three pack. Uh, Bio, Pasha, yes. Rome, and Secrets of the Deep, four pack. Um, Castle, que- uh, Castle, Epic, Quest, and Excalibur, three pack. Uh, Super League probably be its own pack. Uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer probably be its own pack. Um, yep. And then Funhouse, uh, Space Station, Sword to Fury, three pack, just like they came. And then um, uh, Doctor Dude, Pinball Party, in its own pack. And then each of the remaining Williams tables would each be their own uh, release. Individual. Individual release. Because they were sold separately, weren't they? Yeah. Um, the based on pricing, any of the Zen originals are going to be only five bucks. Any of the license tables are going to be fifteen on their own. Um, I would be, mm. I would not be surprised if if they release indie that indie is a twenty dollar table. Um, yeah, just because everything's yeah. been five dollars more than what it is on Steam. Because everyone's got to get paid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, everyone's got to get paid. But if I'm going to get all of that content coming natively onto the machine, I'm pretty happy. I can wait on the video card. <laughs> That's well, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, and and I I'll, full disclosure here, I'm getting these packs from App Games. Hmm. So yeah, you're being divided them under 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 uh, media <laughs> me, media me, media reviews media reviews yes, um, yeah. for which I'm going to have a review of uh, Twilight Zone and. Um, Star Trek Next Generation coming out coming out Mm. Um, but yeah so that's why I say I'm kind of I can wait because as it is right now I'm literally spent the other night probably an hour and a half on Attack from Mars trying to beat a score and right I just spent today an hour on Twilight Zone Uh, I'm not hurting for boy I wish I had more tables I I've the magic pixel tables have completely fallen off the earth for me. <laughs> yeah. So. Which like, I, I'm not surprised yeah. really, but it's not because they're bad. It's just because they're well, most compelling. Yeah, that's the middle. Um, you, mm. my, my, my Dr. Seuss packs that I've been looking at, th- those are terrible tables. They're just terrible. Right. Okay. They look, oh, so they you're talking about not the original, the original Magic Pixels, they, they're no. like new ones specific for These, uh, okay. What I have on here right now is the remakes. And mm. uh, and the remakes are just like, they're overstuffed messes yeah. that the ball does not flow well at all. No. Um, it, there's just some fundamentally bad design in the layouts where you would think that a ball would funnel right to your flipper so that you could then immediately combo into this other thing, and instead it does this weird dribble that makes it nearly impossible to make a shot with. Um, right, that's, and that's then, frustrating. And then the Dr. Seuss tables, literally you're only playing like a sixth of the table at a time. Oh. And what I mean by that is you'll start a mode, and it's this little corner over here is what where... You need to hit to score. Nothing else on the table scores during that mode. Once right. you clear that mode, 
Well, now this corner up here is what you need to be playing for. It's very so, like, herky-jerky. So there's n not even like 10 points available on any other part of the table. Is that no. what you're saying? No, there, there's literally oh. no motivation to flip the ball anywhere else but the that one little section. Um, oh. it, yeah, that's silly. It's mind-numbing, uh, which is why yeah. I laugh when people yes. are like, Sounds like oh, but the, the, the ad games, look at how complicated they are and the visuals look great. I'm like, well, yeah, the play field's complicated, but the code is based simple. You know, it called, it's like alpha level code, for yeah. them, like rules wise. Like, yeah. if put it this way, if that was a real table and Stern released it, there'd be Reddit posts and, and pin side posts going, Oh, this code's rubbish, it's a trash game. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, one other caveat to note with this pack in the announced releasement, it does make mention of a subscription service. So currently, mm. it hasn't gone live yet. There's going to be, uh, instead of Arcade Net, they're calling it Pinball Net, which is a subscription mm. service through At Games that allows you to play all the pinball tables that are available. All except for Zen. None of the Zen uh, tables are included in that pack or in that subscription uh, so model. <laughs> right. So, Good. I'm assuming that there's going to be a subscription model just for Zen, if you want to go that route. Right. Okay. So, there's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. And so, maybe Pinball Pass is going to be discontinued on Steam and Epic and all that, and then added to At Games. That's what I think is going to happen. Mm. Yeah. And and by is the it, I mean, the, by the sound of it... Platform, it's controllable. Like you can actually do it there. Yeah, you know? I, I I feel like Zen. They tried this. They went, yeah, this is gonna work for us, and now we'll go full hog, and we'll make him, you mm. know, we'll make a go of this and really do that. And this is what I'm hoping happens when Zen finally goes into VR again. Is enough right. of this? Here it is, and that's the end of it. No, here it is, and now just release and release yeah and release and release yeah i think the days i definitely get the impression that the vr version of pinball effects is is either going to be if you get it as a native experience on your headset because i i'm pretty sure they would look for actually having like a native experience in the headset as well as you know a pc driven experience mm -hmm. um but if you buy it on there i would absolutely expect it to just be like another console and yeah. get day date releases with all the other platforms on there and off you go you know and the same with you know i, th I really didn't like vr i've got some thoughts on it like, honestly which um i won't go into too much here because now we've got a big show but it's i reckon it's going to be native a native on headset experience for those people who don't want to bother with a pc uh, and then the PC version is going to be uh, essentially managed like um, Magic Pixel, where you just turn on VR. Mm. Like there's there's a common a common pattern now um, with it. Where and I've seen it. Like you look at the new pinhole, which we're going like, to look at in a moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean this is something that we've argued for for a long time, and mm. I I know we talked to Mel about it. Um, that we're fine. We got the pinball hall. We don't need all the other bells and whistles that go around in the VR space. Let me stand mm. at the machine in my own space so that I can look around and see all my little trophies that I have up on the wall. I don't need a shark popping out of the, you know, the water or a zombie leaning over the table. It's unnecessary. I have my pinball hall. They've done it. That they've, they've got, they don't have the, you know, the bits and pieces flying around everywhere in VR, but, Every single table, the, the new ones now, apart from Belly Williams ones, have got a themed environment around them. Right, but like, what I'm saying go... is I don't, we don't, we have said we don't need it. No. The licensors, I believe, have said we need it. And that's the problem. That's yeah, they, why Zen can't just like flip it. the switch and let us be in VR like Magic Pixel does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would argue. Because they need to build all the 3D assets and they need to mocap everyone and like honestly some of the the mocap in star wars is like i'd rather turn it off right like seeing creepy palpatine 
like do his thing in, in the game is like I don't want to see that next to my cabinet. It's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh uh so I mean and and that's where it's just kind of a shame because it's like you could give us all the experience that we all want and it's an experience that people are doing right now with that Unreal Engine VR trick, you know. Um yes. Uh, that's fine. That's all we need. That's all we want. Just give us the things in VR. Um, mm. So since Jared mentioned it, let's take a look at the new. So there was a major update uh, that transpired in. Uh, yeah, the content update that they released um, with all the the things in there. It's it's completely it's brand new. Yeah, brand new. Everything's well, new. Let's go. There's our pinball hall. And. There you go. That's VR ready. Look at that. Yeah, my shelves are empty. Absolutely but, VR uh, ready. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to do some decorating, man. Eh, I got to play. I wish I. You know how they got that Omperencia machine and the uh, electric circus machine. I wish that those were actually like playable. Yes. Yeah. It's like or circus electric. That's what it is. Um, I mean, if yeah. you're gonna have them that there, let me play cool. them. <laughs> yeah, let me walk up to them and, and like that's like a in it purchase where you can just buy it and then play it through because uh, like operencia is actually vr capable yeah um yeah it's actually you can play it i don't know about the other one circus so electric but um give you an idea of let's see there's this whole quest line thing that's live here's our tournament wall that's been there for a bit that's been there uh no events at the events moment are completely there's the whole pinhole lovely yeah well, it looks great like the, it's, the, just put that carpet on all the Belly Williams table environments, and I'll be happy. Like, like keep the rest of the uh, lounge. Oh, there's but. the store. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right. Let's get into. So, sorry, folks, you're not going to get audio <laughs> for any of these tables. No, but I just wanted to get so many to get through. So many. We, we're just going to. So rip many. Them, basically. Wait, why is it saying everything is on a trial? Oh, because for some reason my network didn't connect. Really. I was literally just playing all this stuff. <laughs> okay, well, that means the game tra- things are going to be uh, really short. All right, let's take a look real quick at the uh, the ones that are new-new. So, Battlestar Galactica here. So, you'll notice Starbucks missing. <laughs> yeah, there's no Starbucks. And, but, uh, strangely enough, her sound alike is in this game. Oh, really? Does a reasonable job at sound alike. Um, okay. I would say, yeah, it's close enough to how it sounded in the show. Uh, you got, is it uh, Adama? Is that his name? The Adama, yeah. Who just likes I to. He's a, I think he's a sound alike as well. Yeah, I agree. He likes to just tell you that uh, roll a hard six or whatever a lot. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I cannot make the skill shot in this game to save myself. I have not been able to dial in oh, the strength I need to get those top rollovers at all. <coughs> I cannot do it. It's like it's almost unmakeable for me. So please, if you've managed to do it, tell me what finite little adjustment I need to make between the top, the top, like fully open, and then the next one down because that's. Like you can't do it. Oh, video mode! Yeah. So I actually like this video mode. It's it's pretty cool. It is. But I I have a hard time aiming in it. Like, so you aim it, with your flipper it, buttons, fire with the launch button. Yeah, it's just that the the cannons. I, I find it hard to like work out the blasts and how they connect. But I like, like that they're coming that, down like, at different speeds. Yeah. But I don't know. I just find this... I mean, it feels different to, say, something like the other firing-based video modes. Like, for for example, like the ones that you see in um, uh, Home... Not Homecoming. <laughs> Homeworld? <laughs> um, Homeworld, where it has, like, a tracer fire on it, so you can sort of see what's going on. And maybe just a... I don't know. Something like a, a laser beam or something to, like like laser finder to help where you're aiming would be helpful i don't know it just feels like when i fire i don't get the connection that i do in some of the other firing modes but i don't know yeah it's one of those things you gotta adapt so one thing i don't like is so you can you can stack modes i think or or you can collect modes along the way they don't necessarily stack um each lane is a different mode so like you see exodus here but you have to read the dmd for it to tell you that you got to hit it three times there's no indicator on the play field itself of how many times you've hit it. You're correct. You've, and you've I don't like that. A... 
Yeah. It's um I mean it's a I think out of all of them, I like it the most. Really? Um you do you do need to read the rules though on hmm. it. Like you really need to read the rules. All right, let's um, take a look at uh let's take a look at Xena here real quick. Yeah. The Xena, a show I never watched. You um, never watched Xena? No. It was like the staple down here in Australia, man. We were all into Xena down no, here. No, too cheese ball. Oh, it's that's that's what it is. It's like the <laughs> Giver, how it was a cheese ball, you know. I mean, I also never right. watched Hercules. This table, so this table ah. is one that you absolutely need to read the rules for because it makes no sense. Yes, and that's um, my problem. I haven't read the rules. It, and it, it, everything's flashing. Like everything's flashing. Like yeah. when you start off, look, all the lanes are lit. It's like which one do I choose? What one does each one do? And here is a major gripe that I'm discovering in um, the design of these tables. If you're playing this game on a monitor in your lounge room at a reasonable resolution at this view like at a at a view like view two which is like honestly it's got to be the most popular view because it gives you the whole table in yeah. the view at the time there you've got zero chance of reading anything on the play field mm -hmm. uh, like any text or anything now think about how belly williams does their tables right everything is viewable from afar you can see everything from a distance there's no chance you can do that here you've got to upscale the font guys when you're doing this you've got to realize how people are playing this game like if you're playing on console on your tv it's there's no chance yeah you cannot see it so anyhow like i love the game it's it's this game is nice in the fact that it's really well themed it really hits on the xena theme um it, you you gotta read the rules it's just opaque otherwise now are you um, thinking and, these are sound alikes also oh i don't know lucy sounds pretty pretty accurate i don't i haven't i haven't watched the show recently enough to know whether they sound alikes or not the only I reason why i ask lucy. is because and again our audience isn't hearing any of the call outs because i got the volume not on um yeah by design don't complain about it <laughs> but uh uh these are all it sounds like pull quotes it's not game specific. Quotes. Oh, they're different pull quotes. As opposed yeah, to you can tell because the audio is different across a whole bunch of them. Yeah, as opposed to Galactica, which is specific to the table itself. Yes. So. Yeah. Well, that's because there's definitely sounded like some Galactica. Yeah. Uh, my favorite is this one, Knight Rider. This thing is freaking awesome. Um, yeah. Now this is also a game by Deep. His first design in like three years. Wow. Okay. Um, you have the option of playing, yeah, see, this is that one wide or whatever view, which is like impossible to play in. Yeah. I, I, how do people play this? Uh, yeah. No, this is the view. They, this is, I don't know. It would be really interesting to see the data from Zen about what views are actually popular because I can't play this game in anything other than this. And it's the most zoomed out view. Yeah. That's a problem. Like, um, it is really zoomed out. So when I played this in cabinet mode. I do use view one and it is wonderful. You can read everything. View one is good, is it? It's right. really good in cabinet mode. Okay. So view one is the view to use in cabinet mode. Yeah. Now the beautiful thing about this one, you can play with both the um, original soundtrack, do the show, or you can play with the altered audio and the altered audio, believe it or not, is a very good simulation. Um, so they I've did never Where's the option to do that? Yeah, when you first play, if you hold down your flipper button, both of them, it gives you the option of how you want to do the uh, audio. Oh, never even realized. Yeah. The kit is a sound-alike, and there's a sound-alike um, Michael. Michael. Uh, fortunately, well, they didn't pay like the Hoff for his like, picture. I'll tell you what, it's a very good sound-alike, because it it even sounds like they've lifted it from the show. Yeah. Like it, it really does sound like it's been lifted, the audio. I, I just know they didn't pay for the half. No. So. Um, but this is a really fun shooting table. It's a, it's easy to get things started, but it's also like frustrating to complete anything. Oh, I love... The other thing that's really cool is once you start a mode, you continue it if you lose your ball, and I love that. Yeah. You don't get punished. Yeah. Like, you, you, keep, you keep playing, and it's just really good. Because honestly, I've I've just default to playing this in realistic physics. I don't play classic anymore. 
And I am playing this in realistic physics, and it's brutal. Oh, it is. Yes. (laughs) It is absolutely. Because I switched it over to the regular physics or whatever, and it was so much easier. Yeah, yeah, I know. And probably if if I was, because I'm looking at the, my, my frustration levels on Xena, like the outlanes are just horrible, horrible in um, realistic physics. All right, where's think, Pacific Rim? I don't know why they're, they're, they're that bad, but they, they just make me, I was swearing my head off at it last night. Yeah. And I was just going, I hate this table so much, but <laughs> I don't want to switch it back to classic because... I, I see the grinds that are on the leaderboard. Like there's, I think maybe on um, uh, Night Rider, it's like 22 billion is the top mm. score. It's like, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't care. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, I, I think I'll play it on, I'll play it on realistic because that's, that's more of a challenge and you'll feel like you're actually earning more. Okay. Pack rim. So yes. this feels very much in line with the Godzilla Kong packs. Yes. Um, so does, I, it? I, yeah. I, I appreciate it for that. Um, very basic, simple layout. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a simple fan of fans. Um, it really is fan. It's fan. It's vanilla common in all garden variety fan. Yeah. Um, I hate this. The delay it takes to get my ball back here. Yeah. I, I wish I could speed up that animation because it drives me nuts. Well, and this it is the funny thing that I've, that we comment with Zen. They'll do things like that when you're just like, hurry up and give it to me. But they won't do that when they need it most, which is when important information is happening on the DMD screen. Yes. Why? <laughs> it's like, guys, that's like, when you pause it. thing animates my ball out. Like, honestly. So this one you need to read the rules for as well, because there's like, each lane does a different thing. Um, and like, depending on like, you got to shoot the lanes in a, a sequence sometimes. You got to like, the left and right, right lanes got to shoot to... I mean, it's telling you hit the lit lanes, sure. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting the left or right. It's really annoying me right now. Yeah. There we go. There's one. I can hit the A and the I all day. It's the P and the C that I'm just, like, being brutalized by. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, obviously, when you complete Pacific, you get a mystery award lit at that, um, that thing. And, yeah... Now, here we go. I'm kind of disappointed that the kaiju is just a cardboard cutout. Well, you know, do, do you want a big, massive three rendered thing on the kind table? Of. You already got that with the with the kaiju with the um um Jaeger. So, no more three D rendered things for you. It would have been good if that was like like uh even if they did like a Godzilla Kong kaiju battle sort of thing on the play field, like little mini versions of them. Right, that would have been cool. Right, you know, I can't shoot. My trial time's over. All right, anyway. That was specific yeah. rim. So these, those were just the four that just dropped. Oh, but wait, mm. there's more. Let's hear it, everybody, for the return of. Hold on. Super League football. Uh, Super it's League. Yeah. Super League football. So happy for Super League to be here. Super League and is one of those glory. that. It is tough to understand what to do at the beginning. Once you yeah, figure is. out the shots, and it's not just, like, I know what to do, but I still haven't dialed in what the shots are now that I'm playing in realistic physics mode. Um, yeah, because it's hard. It's as. hard. But once you Which figure it out. Table, it needs to be hard. And yes, it comes out of there ridiculously fast. I also got stung by it the other day, and I went, ooh, hold up your flipper every time. <laughs> um, so it's all about, like, shooting all the lanes and getting like combos basically so you can open up the upper ramps for the shot on goal and the shot on goal is like the goalie on world cup soccer 94 on steroids it's just so much fun and hard so hard sometimes to get the ball in there oh just got it yeah it's a fun it's a fun game i love the fact there's no music it's just crowd noise and the crowd amps up every time you do a combo shot it's just the best bit of sound design um really is i love it but the, i do found it a little frustrating that um the the bounce of the ball is actually a little too bouncy honestly like it's really is like a soccer ball yeah which may be the, the the what they're going for here but 
yeah, it's it's very bouncy, and sometimes it's hard to get control back again uh, when you want to take a shot or a a time limited shot. It's like just give me the ball back on the flippers, like help. I mean, you know? just I'm, I'm I'm trying to shoot the ball in between bumpers, and it's hard. It's so stressful. It's really hard. Yeah, I know. It's like oh, I just <sighs> got the shot, and it's so hard. And yeah, you got this countdown music going at you. And if I don't do it, they're going to score on me. It's like, uh, I'm going to lose the point. Ah. Yeah. It's like, um, oh my God. Unfortunately, Zen did not. There we go. I got that one. Oh, and then I timed out. Shot. Oh. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> just getting into it. Um, unfortunately, Zen did not up the co- update the code in any way, shape, or form. Um, no, it's just. Which crazy. means when you get the halftime multi ball, you're going to go, why? <laughs> end already <laughs> um well the the sorry that the 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 jackpot multi ball is nice the halftime multi ball because you do get jackpot opportunities uh, but you have the you know i just don't find it sad. To, to me it just takes me out of the game um yeah. i'm also disappointed that they didn't update any of the photos of the zen team because a lot of those photos the people that are there don't exist at zen anymore to the best of my knowledge <laughs> yeah. um yeah that's probably true yeah. you know uh, what else got added recently? Uh, Excalibur and stuff. Epic Quest, those have been out for a while, right? Yeah, they have been. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, definitely... Oops. Where's Star Trek? There we go, Star Trek. There it is. So we got these three new Trek tables. Um, I mean, these have been out for ages. Everyone's seen gameplay of them. This is nothing new. But... Yeah, but we haven't commented on them. We haven't had, we haven't given out two point five cents on them yet. So, so the voice acting on here, there's I think they got Cisco's voice. Okay, but I think they got Cisco's voice. But I'm pretty sure um, you, you don't hear any. You basically you hear mention of um, Worf's, but Michael Dorn's voice is mm. not in there. Um, you hear um, the engineer the. I'd like to say, um, uh, what what is his name? Um, anyhow, I never he, watched the there's show. There's three so. voices in it. Yeah, there's there's three there's three voices in it that you hear. There's um, Odo's voice, which I think sounds pretty much like they got his voice, or if not, I tell you what, this, <laughs> that's a very specific voice sound like it. It's specialized in that voice because it's very good. Um, but yeah, the uh, I think. There's only a few voices that star in it, um, but they do all right. So my thing with this table is, I'm just not like really thrilled to shoot anything. It's it's a lot of just little holes at. and mm. narrow ramps. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't flow yeah. well to me. Um, the thing that's interesting as well is that the 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 way it it highlights what shots to shoot for is all the lights sort of scroll towards a shot or scroll this way to a shot and there's been some points where i've been thinking what do i what is it wanting me to shoot yeah like it all the lights are like going towards a point but it's not clear what the point is because there's not enough lights around the point for it to zero in on and often that that medallion shot that you see in the top left just above the left sling is what it wants you to hit and all the lights are scrolling towards it, but it's like until you realize that's what it is, you go, "What? What is it? All the lights are lighting up. What am I supposed to shoot?" Yeah. So, it could be useful if they just, I don't know, put a like a more like a flasher effect under some of these mm-hmm. important lights or something. You know, mm-hmm. everything is just everything's an insert. It's like all they've done is they've gone. This is a 1980s table, <laughs> and all we have is no flashes. Yeah. Um, or we do have flashes, but we're just not going to use them for features. Like, you know, those big, you know, if they're stacked lights, there's like one, two, three, and then a big arrow lens with a flasher and a regular bulb underneath it on a regular table. Just do that. And this table. Mm. Yes. I'm going to call this one the uh, Masters of the Force. <laughs> yeah, this is... <sighs> because... I hate it. It's got some bizarre shots. Uh, okay, look at the upper or the middle left flipper and watch how it, yeah. depending on which way you flip, it goes, does this weird yeah, floaty thing. 
Like I, I kind of look. That's really cool innovation, and that's a digital only feature, obviously. Yeah. Um, and how cool is it? That it does that, but because uh, it acts as three things: it's a left flipper, a right flipper, and a gate. That's really cool. Good luck, Stern, trying to copy that like you did with um the pop up oscillating target in Jaws recently. Yeah, which is a direct rip off of all the um cardboard cutout pop ups in um Zen Studios tables. Um, yeah, good luck copying that. Um, but everything else is like, look at that big discovery bank of targets that you got to hit. That dude, those that are hard alignment. to hit. You know that alignment reminds and me then, of uh, the rainbow targets in um uh Wizard of Oz, Jersey Jack. Mm. They have a big thing of like that. That is homage to that table uh, starting a mode on this table again this one you have got to read the rules on and i really dislike the fact that they they have virtual ramps in this where they just appear and beam you to the ramp there's it feels like such a disconnection of kineticism when you see the ball just morph from here to there i just there's something about it i really dislike i don't know why but it just yeah i don't like it this table, I, I don't know what it is about it. I want to like it because I really love Discovery. But like, I don't know a, what a, I'm supposed to do. Yeah, again, you've, just... you've got to read the rules for this one very yeah. carefully because there's a lot that's explaining the rules that you kind of just got to memorize, and that's bad, bad. You shouldn't have to memorize things. Don't make me think. Just let me shoot. Anyhow. Anyhow. That was our review. That was our three second, two second, minute, minute and a half of, review of. That's of, what we're getting on these game. minute and a half. All right, and then Star Trek uh, Kelvin game timeline, which the the positive I'm going to give on this, it actually has the correct music. Yes, that's where it ends. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, watch this, this thing oh, is weird. Okay, watch the skill shot. Is virtually impossible to hit because it is yeah, a direct not, launch yeah, around yeah. an orbit, and then you have to hit a flasher, a light. But the lights turn out mm. almost immediately. So watch this. Yeah. If you, there's no way of capturing the ball. Yep. Bye bye. And the lights are out. Yeah. You, so what the hell? Yeah. You got to like basically do a on the fly flip, and now just at the right time. I'm looking yeah. at this. Good luck. What am I supposed to shoot at? Because literally nothing is lit up. Well, I wonder if you do a short plunge. Do you do a short plunge or is it only a full plunge? No, it's only a full plunge. Oh, well, there you go. That, that's silly. Yeah. It's I, I, it's just like weird, weird, weird. Um, this is a table where you just literally are supposed to just bounce around and all of a sudden, Shoot a particular color basically. will light up. But again, there's nothing lit up. There's no lane lit up. Nothing right at the bat to tell you what to do. Yeah. Just shoot shoot places. Um, those side yeah, orbits, you can tell here, they're like a, a really steep banked ramp. Yeah, they are. But they don't show up like that. No. That's a problem. Like, this table would look quite a lot better in VR. But it's really hard to understand in flat layout. There you go. It's gone to the thingy tube. Good. And now you've got like... And there's little upper flippers as well. They're not little, but again, they're... they're they, but, it's one of these cases where they have a flipper, but it only does a, like a half stroke, not a yeah. full stroke. And just annoys me. I don't know why. It, like they're there they only do a half stroke for a reason i know why they do a half stroke but it just feels like i'm being cheated out of a full stroke of the flipper it's i don't know it's silly it's just a perception thing but anyhow and then you just you know you you're doing exactly what most people do on this table i think just flail around. well it's really hard to control the ball yeah and now it ends up in the tube again the Jeffrey's yeah. tube. I think and that, that was that. It's, not that. It's, it's, it's from the movie, basically, where the dude gets sucked yes. into the, the... He gets, yeah, transported into the um, the water tube and has to get flushed out. Yeah. Like a, so, I mean, you know, interesting attempt. 
Um, out of all three of those, uh, it, it's probably Deep Space Nine that I play the most. And the, and that's honestly. the funny thing is, I, I agree. And even though I don't yeah. really think it's a great one, um, it's the one Mission's that I will fun. play the most because it's the most accessible. Yeah, the missions are really fun in Deep Space Nine. They're long running and and you got to do a lot of they're like a three stage sort of mission so you'll probably drain in the middle of it it's much more enjoyable to play that game as a five minute challenge oh okay. see how far you get um you can usually get one mission done in a five minute challenge although i've seen some pretty big scores in five minute challenge so people are obviously doing different things on that table to me um so yeah it's it's you get a good you get a good run at it in five minute challenge um but you're playing it normally you, you know, it's it's a little frustrating but um so yeah there's your your quick look at uh what's new um if you haven't picked it up already super league is free on pc still it was free for 30 days from may 16th so may 16th to june 16th um super league is free get it it's a lot of fun it really is yeah um and you can't complain it free no you you can't I i mean people are complaining it free but you know I've seen them complain. Really? It's About like, Super League? Yeah. One person said, well, Zen, thank you for ruining... Th- thank you. I, how did you manage to ruin um, a soccer-themed pinball, which I love so much? It's just bouncy and blah. It's like, wow, you're complaining about a free table that you got. Okay. This is what... This, this is This is apparently... I d- That's amazing because... And you mentioned it about the the balls. Uh, they have a different. They bounce. are very bouncy. What's that? They really do. Yeah. You think they're bouncy? I think they're flat. I don't think they bounce hardly at all. I think they feel they well, still feel very much the lead weight that Zen tables used to have. Um, for me, I think they bounce, but at the wrong times. Like they feel bouncy when you're okay. trying to control them. <laughs> like when you're trying to actually get control and get a shot on. Yeah. They're like all over the place, and the thing won't stop bouncing around the, the play field yeah um and i think overall i think they do have a bit of extra bounce to them which i think i don't know maybe people i don't think this person in particular that was making the, the complaints about a free table um was is played the original one maybe but i think it was new because they'd never seen it before oh yeah if they've never seen like, it before um i again, just read li- the rules. Like, i just like it because rules. Whereas um, World Cup Soccer is very much a pinball machine, you know, pinball game uh, that is soccer themed. Yeah, Super League feels like you're playing a soccer match. It really does. It's a um, very unusual, much and... the same way that NBA Fast Break feels like playing a basketball match to me. Um, mm. It's that same because you. You get it's still got pinball tropes in it, like sure. NBA still got pinball tropes. Sure, but, but I'm paying really. I'm paying no attention to my score other than how many goals I'm scoring. I could care less yeah. about the high score. I'm all I care about is beating the other team. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that to me, when you can transport me that way, where I'm like, it's one nil, and we've got you know three minutes left on the match. Can I hold them off? you've done your job yeah you've done yeah, your absolutely. job um so it is i I, th- I was playing realistic the other day and i got i think a hundred million in a like a match i lost by three balls and i ended up with a hundred million um and that's a long that's a, it's a pretty long game mm-hmm. um i got to like the second round and got halfway through the second round i think before i ball out um, so it's, it's those outlanes, man. When they don't trap the ball, and you <laughs> oh, and they're they're quick. To trap the ball, yeah, yeah. It just goes, and you just go. Oh, okay, that was unexpected. See, I've uh, made it to. I think I've made it to the third round before. Um, yeah. And when you've made it I've to made the it. third round, that's where those halftime multi ball become just gets get going. Um, when you do the whole victory uh, celebration at the end of winning the match. I'm like, just give me to the next match. I don't care. Because, again, I'm not caring about the points, so I don't care about the super jackpot. I just want to get to the next team and try and defeat them. Right, um, right. You just want to play the play the, play the, play the match. Yeah, you, yeah. You want to do. And, then, and that's the other thing, too, to realize. 
as you go up the ranks, the competition gets harder. So mm. the amount of time you have, for shots. you have less time for shots and it becomes more shots that you have to hit in order to gain control of the ball back um, mm. for yourself. So it becomes brutal. Uh, yep. And that's what I really love about it. I, I think it is. That's the part of the code that I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, I just yep. wanted Zen to tighten up the actual gameplay a little bit more. Mm. But, you know, for what it is and how much it costs, perfect. Yeah. Jeff Kiss. <clears throat> yeah. Um, shut up and don't take my money because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to circle back around to the uh, Ant Games cabinet, uh, Attack from Mars is only five bucks. Totally worth the five bucks. Um, five bucks. Five bucks. That's pretty good. Uh, Twilight Zone, Next Generation, both $15. Um, mm. Your mileage may vary. I personally... It's, so it's not it's not a day one buy. You wouldn't say it's a day one buy at the moment for those tables. It depends on how much you like them. Uh, I personally mm. go Twilight Zone over Next Generation. Um, I yeah, don't... Twilight Zone's got more to do. Yeah, it it well for sure. It comes back to me being a Lawler fan and not a Richie as much of a Richie fan, and so I'm going to take a Lawler mm. table any day over a Richie table. Yep, so. yeah, that's a valid point. Like we 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 have our design preferences, that's for yeah. sure. Um, oh, the other thing with the uh, with the Trek table, the one area where the lag really is noticeable <laughs> is when you're when you got the ball in the cannon. Um, oh, really? So. They've coded. So what they've coded is that you no longer have to push the launch button to make a powered launch. You can actually pull the launch, the the the, the plunger, and that'll do those things. But in your head, you're thinking as soon as I pull back, that's going to be the firing. No, it's as no, soon it's as you, you release it. So when I do the cannon, oh. I'm pulling letting it aim and even as i'm letting it aim i have to release a little bit early in order for it to get where i want to go oh no that's no good yeah Just so it's no. not that that's where you really feel the lag on next generation that's not lag that's just uh controller input yes like a, a quirk with not you using a digital plunger to like fire a cannon which should be a, a micro switch no wonder you're feeling lag yes. that's silly that and what they button. really should do is and I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch this. <laughs> they really need to use flippers. Well, no. If you have the um, the arcade the stick down, uh, with the with the the control buttons on top, let's be able to use one of those buttons. Yes. For the fire button. Yeah. Just let's be able to reach over, go pop that, boom, it yep. goes. Um, Absolutely. That, that would be fantastic, um, and I'm gonna make that suggestion. Uh, they would certainly solve that kind of an issue because then it would be immediate direct input. And I'm also thinking about when you get to a game like The Getaway, when that comes out, same thing with shifting. <coughs> I don't want to have to worry about pulling the plunger. No. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Yeah, ex exactly right. Uh, so there's no launch button on the game. On, on the cabinet. No. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to have a coughing fit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, well, well. I think well we should call it, Jared. Um, all right, no worries. Uh, <laughs> I held out as long as I could, folks. <laughs> now I'm beat now red, too. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's wrap it there everyone thanks uh i'll, I'll do the talkie if you like thanks everyone for, take us uh, out of here jared our, our two and done two minutes and done overview of all the the tables and for uh tuning in this week um we'll be back uh next time at some point um where i'll be doing your favorite thing of stuff and things uh, have a lovely, lovely time, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.